Are you enamored by the beauty that terrariums bring into your home? I have some great ideas to share with you for people that love terrariums but don't necessarily want all of the work of live plants. I'll talk about succulents, but my, primarily we're just going to talk about how you can use elements of nature to use these beautiful vessels in your home and be pretty much maintenance free. So let's just start with some of the different vessels that you can actually use as terrariums in your house. There's these beautiful glass orbs that uh, containers that have lids on them. I do like them for the indoor uh, pieces because it keeps the dust out of your designs. Uh, there's also ones that look like little houses. Originally, these were used more for carrying uh, species plants around the globe, but now they're really just decorative elements in your home. Many of them are not really designed to hold plants. So for instance, this one here is made out of a cast material at the bottom. I would never put a plant in there because I'm not sure how it will weather. Um, I think if you lined it with plastic, you could do it, but also maintaining this one because of the way it comes off, uh, you have to lift the entire top off and it's actually very hard to get things back in place. So uh, this one in particular, I think is much better designed for a dry kind of uh, element that I have created. Ones like this, they have doors and I'll just show you on this one. It has a nice little door that you can access it and a lock. And this one here is just a simple, again, remove the, the lid. So let's just get into it and I'll show you what I've done in each one of these. So I'm just gonna move this over to the side a little bit to explain this one. So what I've done with this one is I've just used pine cones and I've just sort of put them in here, but the element that I've created that I think adds a little bit of creativity to it is I've also added twinkle lights. And the twinkle lights look really quite pretty from any angle that it's sitting in your room. So you can see right there, it's so pretty. And uh, you can obviously add in a lot more pine cones. This is often the view that you see when I have it arranged in my home. And I'll, I'll actually do a still picture for each of these so you can see how I have them displayed. And uh, the little uh, edge here blocks the device that actually turns the lights on. I have invested in clear ones because I find the black ones just uh, are too overpowering, but you can see it's a clear little twinkle light box. And you can just turn it on. This one actually has a timer on it as well. So if after four, four hours I leave the room, it will also turn off by itself, which is nice because it is very easy to leave some of these things off uh, or on. So the next arrangement that we're gonna talk about is this one over here. And as I mentioned before, the top actually comes off in one piece, just like that. And so that makes it very difficult for you to do a lot of arrangements in here because you have to very much get that top back on each and every time. But what I've done for this arrangement is I've gone out on my walks and I've collected beautiful driftwood. I actually have a project in mind that I'm gonna use the driftwood for. Um, I have a Christmas tree that I'm gonna make it a driftwood. You can see this particular one is just a beautiful piece and I see that as the future top of my Christmas tree. But for now, um, I didn't wanna just put these in a bag and forget about them. I have a habit of doing that. So I wanted to use them in a way that I could see it all the time. So it reminded me of some of the good times I had while I was out on these walks. What I've done for this particular uh, arrangement is I've put the driftwood all around the arrangement and I have used um, battery operated candles. And you can see these uh, candles actually have little wicks that are black. Um, I've not lit them, it's just the way the candles come. I got them from Costco and uh, I really liked them. I had a friend who used them first and uh, we were both very happy with um, the way that they work. So one of the things I'll do is I'll just put these back and then I'll just show you how it looks when I light up the candles. So you can see it's just a simple one touch uh, piece that allows you to turn the candles on. And one of the reasons I really love um, these nighttime arrangements is that it's very dark here in Canada during the winter. And to try to find uh, places or arrangements 
that bring in extra light during those dark, dark nights. It really gives you um, a beautiful opportunity to just uh, enjoy all of the different elements of winter. And as you can see how difficult that is to get back on there, to try to get it on. Uh, once you get everything reassembled, it's not something that you want to actually touch too often. You just want to leave it and hope that things don't fall as that one has. Anyways, it's just a great idea. I really do like how it looks. Uh, it's quite pretty and I just have that on my dining room table um, looking quite nice. So we've just talked about the two styles that are more like a house. So let's talk about these other ones that have these all glass vessels with the lids. So first of all, these lids are awesome because they do keep your piece nice and clean, the things that are inside. Now, the other thing that you should know about these is that if you are planning to put plants in here, you can't use succulents. The entire environment that will be created will be far too moist for your succulents and they will die. So if you want to use live plants, and I am going to try that, uh, you need to use plants that are specifically designed for terrariums and high moisture, uh, sort of tropical forest uh, arrangements. For simplicity, you can also just put large items into a big vessel like this. So for me, all I've done is taken a very large pine cone that I own. And then I also have these very interesting, this is an apple and it's just made of like grapevine leaves and it just works particularly well in here. It's simple. I didn't try to overdo this particular arrangement. I just made it simple. I did try lots of different things in it, but for now I'm just keeping it simple. Uh, using large items in a large piece. So I will be making a live terrarium in this piece and I will do a separate video on that and we'll come back and we'll test out uh, which plants work particularly well. But just know that if you use succulents, they will, sorry, just know that if you use succulents, they will die. Um, you could try and see how it goes, but um, there's other vessels that are much better suited for uh, succulents, such as this one here. This is another terrarium style. Um, I use this one for succulents. It's nice, it's open, it allows the air, and you can build it and layer it so you can see all the different pieces underneath it. I'm not gonna spend time on this. I'll do a separate video just on this terrarium. But again, I also collect different pieces on my walks that I use in these um, vessels. So the final one that we're going to talk about is this uh, vessel right here, also with a glass lid. I look after these by cleaning just the outsides of these pieces. I've had this arrangement for 15 years and I just every five years or so deconstruct it and rebuild it all, clean the whole vessel uh, from the inside and out. But overall, it's such a low maintenance piece and it's so pretty. Uh, what I love is the way that the outsides of these pine cones actually look like uh, little rosettes. And you can see the inside. This is just all pine cones that I have assembled and stacked so that the bottoms are actually looking out towards the viewer. So all I've done is I've started at the bottom and then used kind of like the arms of the pine cones to assemble and stick to each other. And I just built it by going around and around in the circle until I got to the top. Um, again, the inside is pretty much hollow uh, with the exception of some of the pine cones that I used just at the beginning so that I could make sure that the pine cones stayed in place. But after a while, it just holds up by itself. Uh, this piece is so lovely to look at. I have considered putting uh, the twinkle lights in here, but I think it would just uh, distract from the overall piece because it's the simplicity of the vessel that makes it lovely. So my guidance for you as you look at terrariums is to try to figure out what works for you. If you wanna do a terrarium that has live plants such as succulents, do it. 
If you want low maintenance things like I've created, give these a try. Bring those elements of nature back into your home so that throughout the winter time, you can enjoy all the abundance that nature brings you. And you can find those memories, those sweet times that you walked on the beach or, or took a walk in the forest. You can find them here in your home. Don't be afraid to try things like battery operated uh, candles or twinkle lights to just give it a little bit more of an evening ambiance. Keep things simple or keep them to one particular design element that you repeat so that your eye just finds peace and calm enjoying it. And if you also want to try things like a live uh, plant tropical terrarium, do that. Do what makes you happy. Really, being out in the garden and being inside your home, both of those spaces should be con considered uh, as equal spaces. They should both make you happy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to get more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. Throughout the summer months, I do a garden tour. I've been doing it since 2017. I do a monthly garden tour that takes you through a walk through the garden, what's growing, what's in bloom, and what project I'm about to do. I'd love for you to follow along so you can see the progress of the garden, but more importantly, get ideas and share in this plant loving community. Take care everyone, and I look forward to all of your comments and suggestions. Uh, because you are just the kindest, sweetest audience ever. Take care. Bye now.